It is Tuesday and it is a salt day. As we all know, salty day means we play some FTL and we try to keep some FTL Harbor no posh streaks going. So uh, let me pull up my list here. We are currently on a streak of 10. And our last ship was the Kestrel Sea. So uh, this is uh, not a terrible streak going on. Let's hope we can keep it alive today. I have some cool announcements for some plans uh, for the stream next, probably next week. That should happen, that we'll talk about later, but um, let's dive deep in the barrel of salt to rub all over our mental wounds. Great plan. Tyler, thank you for the 25 months Prime Savage. Appreciate that, my friend. All right, well, let's see. Uh, we haven't, there's some pretty bad ships still on our list. NGB and Stealth B are probably the two scariest ones. So let's see what our first ship of the day is. Here we go, random ship in three, two, one, and random. The Rock C we have not done. We've only done the Rock A. All right. The Rock C is an interesting one. Pretty strong ship. Um, we have weapons that can ignore uh, ignore shields to start, which can often be useful. Uh, let's see. Okay. I do have some YouTube requests. So somebody wanted a rock and a rock ship named Thunder. Thunder. Thundercats. Just Thunder, though. So Thunder... Rock on a rock ship. Let's see what else we got. Uh, if we ever get Virus, I'm supposed to name him something. That's a joke. That's okay. Um, I think I had somebody who had a request for a crystal boarding crew, but this is not really a boarding crystal. Yeah, somebody wants to be a crystal boarder. That's basically we have to get crystal B. I think that's the only other current uh, YouTube request I have here. Yeah, Roxy is a decent ship. It's got rock hole plating to sell, so anything to sell early can be quite nice. Um, what about a squished rand? Apparently, you can squish emotes, which is crazy. <laughs> you spent a lot of cookies recently. This stream is when you stock up. You are excited for some chill, relaxing no pause. Oh, speaking of, let me do the prediction since uh, if Pie Boy is not here, I I can't remember to do it. So, will Rand beat Rock C? All right, we're going to do just a quick prediction here. Yes or no. I'm going to give you all... It's early in the stream, so I'm only going to do a one-minute. One-minute prediction there. So, bet your cookies now, chat. Are you a, are you a Justin Belieber? Do you believe? Um, so, let's see. What are we looking at here? We are looking at no nebulas in Sector 1. I do like that this ship has clone bay. That's always nice. You believe, huh? You're sure these no pause runs will not just farm sound clips for the missile mod? <laughs> Let me make sure pause is not on. Okay, good. Just had to test the pause to make sure I swapped all my mods correctly. All right, here we go, chat. Rock C, let's do it. Let's see, we got early store to get a weapon. Could be good. Um, that's let's be a hero. Um, does he fire his first ion? Let's see. If he does, I might fire my first swarm missile. He doesn't, so the laser should fire before the ion, which is good. That hit? That hits. Okay. Alright, cool. Cool. Alright, dodge our second shot. At least he didn't dodge our first shot. You managed to do something very odd in your run today. You actually crew killed a ship using the artillery beam only. Wow, that is... That is definitely odd. Not sure how you even do that. Okay, these dodges, though. What the hell? God damn, this fucking game, Wow, that man. is... This guy is dodging like a mofo. There we go. Uh, do we take that deal? Five missiles, two drone parts, and ten scrap. This is honestly a pretty good deal. Uh, you voted no, because you're pretty sure some BS4 Mantis boarding event will occur. Okay, alright. Uh, yeah, that's true. The swarm missile is the swear missile. Do I take this deal? Five missiles and two drone parts and ten scrap. I think we have a chance of the double reward here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna be greedy. Let's be greedy, chat. What's up, I watch FTL? Watching people hit hard levels of copium on that DRG Survivor game is really entertaining. What do you mean by copium levels on that? I, I haven't played enough of DRG Survivor to to know what you mean by that. Uh, you did the crew kill with just artillery against a coffin ship. 
It's a dangerous ship event where they pick what you want them to hack and let them hack weapons. You had cloak hack, so figured the artillery would be fine to win. The first swipe took out O2 and set a bunch of fires they couldn't put out. Wow, that is pretty crazy. Oh, man. Nine scrap. All right, all right. Okay, we did get a double reward. I was about to say, if we didn't get the second half of that, and I only got nine scrap after they offered me ten with consumables, I would have been sad. But we'll take that. Okay, one, two, three. All right, we got a chance for a store to give us something decent here. Yes, the greed flows through me. People dying over and over and over, then each and every time swearing this time, chat, this is the run, definitely this time. Dies, repeat. <laughs> All right, so I guess you've been enjoying watching some Deep Rock Galactic Survivor then. That's good. That's cool. I've, uh, I enjoyed playing it, and I played some of it off stream, but I've, um, been playing other games off stream lately, so I haven't played as much after I played it the one day on stream than off stream. Okay. All right, I don't want to be in the solar flare forever, so. I am going to use missile here. Ugh. Okay, good. You don't get to dodge. They have all of the dodge. <laughs> Why did he talk about dodging? We had all three shots. Ah, oh, I freaking knew that was going to happen. I freaking knew it. Three damage and took out my O2. All right, it's fine. This guy can. Uh, this guy can repair it pretty quickly and takes half damage from no O2, so it's fine. It's really annoying, but it's fine. Okay, let our O2 come back for a bit, and then we leave. All right, distressed and stored then distress, I guess. Uh, you've seen me in Last Epoch and Fairy Tale Fables. That's what I've been playing. That is what I've been playing. They're just pirates. He's got a missile and boarding. Ugh. Yeah, Last Epoch I've been playing a good chunk. Fairy Tale Fables, I'm just it's my addiction, I guess, right now. Okay. I'm gonna fire one missile. See if I can get this missile. God down. damn no. this okay. fucking game! Fuck you, okay. FTL. Okay, weapons down. That's good. All right, first two hits is really good. That's a Lido missile. So if he gets one repair there, he probably turns it back on. He didn't. Okay, that's good. Probably because it's in the second weapon slot. Or however, that works. Uh, they go to the 500 bits. Flirt should appreciate that. You started Showdown Shadows of Doubt yesterday. You've been really struggling. Is that a game? I've not heard of that game. You love that Swarm Missile Sucker Punch early on, Roxy? Roxy? Yeah, if it hits, it's great. If it hits. No doges, no doges. Man, we could have enough scrap before this first store to potentially get like a flak or something. That'd be really great. Probably not enough for a burst later, too, I'm guessing. I think that's a Zoltan repairing with the speed. Interesting. All right, store. Sell our rock hole plating and see what we can get. If nothing else, we can get second shield. Charge two, cloaking. Backup battery and hacking. Okay. I mean, do we just buy the hacking? Is it worth delaying shields to buy hacking with two drone parts? The answer is probably yes, but... I could get second shield and backup battery here. I could get second shield and backup battery. Um, hmm. Is it just the hacking? It's just the hacking, right? They got a point of repair but didn't bring the Lido back up, which has to be because there was a Zultan forcing power and the one slot weapon and the laser. Okay. Grab some copium. Man, I have a couple different options here. We could just like sw sell Swarm, go charge Crystal. That's not really that good. Crystal Heavy has two points of buffer, so delaying shield is more tolerable than normal, you think? If we don't get hacking now, it'll be 12 stores, 4 seed again, probably. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to use it because of my low drone parts, but I should just buy it. It's just... It might be boring to some people, but... It's the best system, and you should get it as soon as you can, even if you're not going to immediately use it, I guess. Uh, you know what? I think I will take that deal, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just too good. Hacking is just too good. It opens up O2 crew kill chances. Yeah, I guess that's true. Because this guy's going to run. He's a rebel rigger. 
Thank God no defense drone. Um, you know what? He's running. I'm going to immediately use my hacking. I'm going to say I <laughs> that I don't want to use my hacking, and then I immediately use my hacking first, first fight. I did not pull the pilot, sadly. Um, I might have to use my swarm missile again. I hope I hit something that pulls the pilot. Beautiful. Shouldn't need to use any more missiles then. I'm wondering if he has a repair drone. This shield's not getting repaired quickly makes me think he has an anti-personnel drone, actually. Can't blame you, you'd use it as well. You hate running bastards. Running bastards are the waste. They're just the waste, man. They're the waste. And we got a map, an 18 scrap. That's a high amount of scrap. Map is interesting. Shows that we do have a second store. With 26 scrap, I just need to get shields. I think we skip the store and get as many of these ship fights as we can. One, two, three, four, five is probably the is probably the, the route to take. Man, so many ship fights. If there were some nebula gems in here to give us extra jumps, this could be super lucrative. I guess we go one, two, three, four, five, and if we get any delays, we can get one extra. Grima has a new color. What? What's up, Grima? We are winning. Well, we're not dead yet. So if we're not dead, I guess that means we're winning. Let's go ahead and just get the shield value now. Next goal is um, second shield. If we get second shield, then we can maybe get some training in. Mom, can I have long-range scanners? No, honey, we have a map at home. Okay. And two dudes in a row running away. Uh, immediately using all my drone parts. At least we were able to trade some missiles for some extra drone parts, I guess. This pull pilot. Fuck you. Fuck, fuck yes, it you. Does. Uh, fuck no, it you. doesn't, fuck actually. It does not pull pilot. This should pull the pilot, though. If it hits. Good. Pilot pull. Beautiful. This would be a fight we could train on. Well, uh, actually, we couldn't because he's running, so. I going to say, if he didn't, if we had the second shield, we could train, but we actually couldn't because. Uh, we don't have second shield. Do we take damage here? Uh, we do take the two damage because I didn't want to use a missile. Uh, HVET404, Vladislav, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. All right, good scrap reward, though. There is a fire in my sensors. Um, let's see. They drain our drone parts. We swear at them while hitting them hard. Fair trade. Okay. A 70 stream watching streak. Well done, sir. Well done. One over the funny number. That's right. The funny, funny number. One, two, three, four is the plan. We should get enough for second shield here. You have a missile. Storage cache. All right. Do I use my hacking here? I'm going to not use my hacking. I'm going to trade my health. Not use hacking. Okay. Ooh, the shield value huge there. How did you dodge everything? Yeah, okay, he's what? breached. I was gonna say this could be training fight now, but uh, this would have to be like a combat drone, and even then, combat drone can do damage. So, okay. Now we've used a decent amount of consumables here in this sector one. Don't love it, but freaking missiles, man. Guess I should be grateful that wasn't a two damage missile. If that was a two damage missile into my shields, we. I would have had to throw hacking at him real quick to kill the drone and buy ourselves time there. All right. One more shot, and you're dead. That should get a second shield. Nice, nice, good reward. Um, can I get a power with it? I can't, so I have to do something like this. 
So we start it this way and then power our shield with O2 or something. Um, what's up, Bounty Hunter Bork? You got a question for me. You've been really wanting to learn guitar and have tried a few times, but you end up losing your motivation. Any tips on how I can keep my motivation to keep learning? That is a great question. Um, damn, I was not expecting that um, to not be a shit fight. It's, it's hard. Um, I will say I had to take lessons for things to stay motivated. So like when I took voice lessons, that's what kept me motivated to keep working on voice. But like if I'm just doing something for fun, like playing clarinet, I have a mandolin and a, what is it called? A concertina, a little mini squeeze box or accordion, if you want to call it that. And I never can spend more than a week before I get bored, you know? So I recommend finding a place where you can take guitar lessons. Then you have a teacher that can give you goals to achieve, things to work on, and uh, they can say, what what do you like about guitar? And help you find, um, find things that you can do that you find fun that keep you motivated. That's really my best recommendation, is find a, find a guitar teacher or even just a friend who knows guitar that you can play along with. Doing it by yourself, it's, it's hard to stay motivated for sure. Losing consumables is annoying, but it's better than letting them escape or getting a fed a missile. Getting fed a missile, okay. All right. So the Sector, a bunch of nebula jumps. Wow, what an interesting layout. Okay, so we gotta come in from behind, giggity, that's what she said. So, one, two, three, four, five nebulas i think we just do four and that gets us 13 jumps in total 13 12 11 8 7 6 okay i like to skip this one so that's my suggestion i mean i used to work in a music and arts so it might be a little bit of my old we're trying to sell lessons pitch coming through but i honestly think if you want to be motivated to learn an instrument you kind of need a teacher other than that Find a YouTuber. Oh gosh, shift to A. Find a YouTuber who you enjoy their content and let that be your motivation. A YouTuber who teaches. You can, if you don't want to pay for lessons by like going to a music school or something. Finding some YouTube channel who does lessons you like could be a, uh, another thing. Or I, I, I have a friend who um, who has a YouTube channel that's that's piano lessons. So doing some sort of like piano uh, guitar YouTuber that you like could be one way to do it as well. Um. And probably if you find a YouTuber you like, if they're anything like the uh, piano teacher that a friend that I have on YouTube, people will probably have comments and say, I want to learn this song. And they'll be like, okay, we'll do a video about how to learn this song. You know, so that might be something you could do as well. Not a great deal. Not enough scrap there. Wow, that's repairing that right after I damage it every time. You kind of want to learn the hurdy-gurdy. You can't just spend money on an instrument you don't know. You could if you can find a cheap one. All right, we do have an early store. Um, 25 scrap, or let's go sell the anti-personnel drone and see, because I, I would buy long range scanners now for sure. Although I will say, does any was anybody else having YouTube just not work yesterday? Or like, I was trying to watch a video while I ate dinner and the video was like buffering every two seconds. Does, does anybody else have that? Yesterday on YouTube, also uh, my videos from Twitch that I was uh, uh, exporting to YouTube still haven't finished exporting today. I think YouTube's got some server issues going on. I don't know if anybody else experienced that, but I was having issues yesterday. All right, no long range scanners. I think I'm just gonna buy power here so I can have my weapons online. Five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10, 11. And that would be from three nebula jumps, is that right? Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That would work. Now, Hurdy Gurdy, that's an interesting one. That's the one where you turn it and have some sort of stringed instrument. I'm pretty sure I saw a YouTube video, randomly, of a girl playing the Hurdy Gurdy some song. I forgot which song it was. Oh, man, I'm kind of using my missiles. This put me at six missiles. Okay, reactor for five missiles, I hope. Oh, I hope that doesn't bite me. Because, I mean, we have hacking, so I guess... I'm not completely out of offense, but... If we don't get an offensive upgrade that doesn't use missiles, this could be rough. Still hoping to find a training flag. Well, this is definitely not going to be it. Where are they? They're my shields. Okay. Uh, let's, let's just vent them out of there. Frickin' three humans, man. Frickin' three humans. Uh, I don't want to vent you, though. Walk them out of there. Okay, that should be good. Stupid humans that didn't bring snacks deserve to be vented. Um, you listen to a few hurdy-gurdy songs on your playlist, it's a cool instrument, but it's at least $700. I mean, most instruments, if you want a decent one, yeah. I mean, you can get a kind of a cheap guitar for probably 100 or something, or a really cheap one for like 50 but yeah, if you want a decent quality, you gotta spend at least a little bit of money. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um, okay. The hurdy gurdy is pretty sturdy. <laughs> well said. Well said. Attack the pirate. Damn it, still not a safe fight. I'm boarding and I didn't heal. Alright, I'm gonna try to attack piloting here. My O2. This shield. Uh, this my shield's on fire. That's not good. Oh my god, he's still going. Okay. Okay, his weapons are down though, so we're safe. Okay, we did vent that quickly enough. Ugh, oh, what a ship. Burst laser 2 boarding. Running away. Good thing I hit. Hit uh, piloting then. Should finish him. He boarded me in my doors. Okay, just an NG. Alright. I might have to refresh my crew here. I haven't got training yet, so I guess it's not the end of the world, but still. Ugh. You are wrong, it's at least 1500 if you want all six strings on a hurdy-gurdy. Wow, okay. Yeah, that is definitely expensive. Let's not get, let's get you to refresh. Actually, I don't want to get the repair training before I refresh you. I'm going to not refresh the crystal since he's fairly high health, but I will refresh both the rock dudes. Uh, what's up, top, top? Pat Charles, how are you doing? Did that come with a map? Uh, I can't tell until I get my pilot back on. I'll look in a second here, see if we got a map. That would at least be something, I guess. A uh, hurdy-gurdy, how do you even spell that? Just how you spelled it. That's how you spell it. Hurdy-gurdy. I don't think we got a map. So that was a pretty crappy reward, I think. This ship looks like a scuffed A-wing crossed with a taser you'd see on a top five self-defense defense weapons on Wish. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it does kind of look like that, huh? Man, if I don't get a weapon here, six missiles, four drone parts. Man, what should I have done different at that store? Should I have bought drone parts? I don't know. Let's have a rush this sector. I hope we can find something here. Warn of my passing. 
I'm trying to not use all my consumables, man. I'm trying not to. Please don't hit my weapons. Please don't hit my weapons. Nice, good dodge, good dodge. All right, he can't can't run now. Okay, I'm gonna still try to not use a missile. It might cost me one health damage. No, nope, we dodge. Beautiful, freaking beautiful. The dodge is to the rescue. Isn't it weird that the engine's computer is in the doors? Oh yeah, I guess that is kind of weird, huh? But yeah, one instrument. Like the reason I bought a. Um, Mandolin and a squeeze box, the it's called the concertina, is I really like Henry Mancini's music. Henry Mancini is the composer who wrote um, Pink Panther, you know, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum, doo -doo, doo -doo. and uh, um, the clarinet uh, Baby Elephant Walk. And a lot of his music, there is like this really like Italian romantic like a uh, strummed mandolin and uh kind of the concertina sound and so i was like i'm gonna learn to play that stuff and i got those instruments and s slowly discovered i'm not very good at them and i didn't want to spend the time practicing them so it's it's hard to stay motivated to learn that kind of stuff okay this is a training ship if he doesn't have an offensive drone or at least if he doesn't have a combat drone okay Okay, we finally have a uh, training ship. Uh, I can't train weapons, but let's see what's on his ship. Anti-personnel drone, an NG, and a Mantis. And we, so we might be able to even crew kill this after we train. So let's do some cross training here. We, let's get cheat engine going. Hope nothing crashes, everything looks okay. I'll probably do some cross training here. We can do a little bit of story time. Uh, yeah, try to crew kill after. I, we'll have to see how to make that happen. New instruments are rough to learn. You keep saying you'll pick up guitar. That has not happened yet. Yeah, I think it really is. You have to find some way of learning lessons that you enjoy, whether that's finding a private teacher or finding a YouTube um, person you like who gives tips on how to learn an instrument, that kind of stuff. <laughs> All right, so my announcement I was gonna make, I was uh, messaging, or Cassalian was messaging me and I finally responded on uh, Discord this morning. And I think we're gonna try to get some so show matches in, some practice show matches for tournament, FTL tournament uh, style show matches starting next week probably. So the format would probably be where, I think we'll do it on my stream, where we have like a little bit of the overlay, um, and I maybe I'll cast, maybe I'll play, but it'll probably be a mix of, you know, practice runs to be in the similar format of what the tournament would be starting next week on, probably Tuesday, Wednesdays, or Thursdays, and I'll announce to you all when we're gonna do those. So it'd be it'd be a, it'd be a fun, like preview to what the um, tournament could be, and it give us a little practice to. For the how we're gonna do the format and Castalian with the uh, you know producing it with the overlay and all that kind of stuff. So Castalian ran a pre-ignited fire beam on Lanius B yesterday. Such a bizarre but approved build. Nice, nice. Okay, we're gonna get the full full training here. Looking forward to the tournament. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be a fun like practice thing to do and it'll it'll let me actually try doing some runs in the tournament format too to just you know get a better feel for you know what you should be trying to do like playing fast while trying to get a decent score kind of thing castalian find a way to get vods on his channel recorded probably i think we just had to turn on that uh I, I, I don't know. I haven't. I've only lurked in Casalian's stream once or twice, but um, I don't know if he's had issues now. I mean, since the last time he, we streamed the tournament, we lost that one bot. I'm pretty sure he's turned on that one. That one. Um, 
option you need to click to save VODs or whatever. All right, let's, um... Will the NG who's on weapons go repair O2? I think it will. I think I have to... How do we do this? I think I have to hack O2 if I want a crew kill. Is V-Sync on? I'm pretty sure I turned it off. So the NG is going to repair the O2, so this isn't going to work unless... Unless I hack O2. Is it worth the drone part to get the crew kill? Yeah, I either have to use a swarm missile or a drone part. And I think I'm more okay with using a single drone part, I think. Okay. I'm gonna test something here. Okay, so I'm about to test, this is gonna be a little bit of uh, FTL science. I believe if you hack before you damage a system, if you hack O2 before you damage O2, it still goes through its full cycle of pulling out oxygen. Is that correct? I've been told this before. I don't want to test this right now. And the way I want to test this is I'm going to fire this. I'm going to start the hack right before the, o the shot hits, and I want to see if O2 continues to uh, be sucked out. I'm going to test this. Ah, it was too late. I was trying to do it right before hit. I wanted to do it after it crossed the threshold. Okay, I screwed that up. I screwed that up. God damn it. Stupid, stupid bad play. I was trying to make sure it hit before I did it. Completely an utter fail right there. Okay, there. I think we kind of saw it in action there. Uh, like we want to hack. O2 crew killing with the crystal heavy is awkward anyway because it does two damage. Yeah. Do I wish there was a method to slow down the game without pausing it? I, I don't know. It's, it doesn't exist. It's never going to exist, so I don't really care about thinking about that. So I I don't I don't know and I don't care. Sorry. Sorry if that is callous. Uh I I no. I'll just say no. Uh you do it often where you hit a room before the hack. Okay. Alright, that should do it. Turning a drone part for the crew kill. Was it worth pretty good Reward, we got our drone part back. Well, results-based analysis say it was worth. So if I see a store here, would I skip the quest to go there? I'm pretty sure this is a an escort. Which means it could be a store. But if I see a guaranteed store, I should go to the store instead of the escort. That could be a store. Because this could be anything. It could even be a store. Or I just go to the store. Because there's a store. Someone gave you a sub, you must have been AFK. Thank you, Anonymous Benefactor. I think that happened a while ago, because I don't think that was today. We're not giving away that, as much as I want drone parts. Okay. So our only chance is store now. One, two, three, four, five. Is here or here. Or the quest beacon. We lost the roll on that one. So what, we could have gotten uh, good rewards and a free crew or something? Alright, well, it was free stuff from that. Not terrible. It was free stuff from that. We are not doing great on any of our consumables right now. Alright, it's another safe fight. Um, this one I don't even think I have to hack and I can crew kill. Because the Mantis is going to repair the O2. All right, this should just work here. Yeah, it wasn't today that you got the gifted sub. Yeah. Who knows? The generosity of the people of the stream knows no bounds. Small risk of your breach O2 that'll pull the NG, though. Mm, okay. If that happens, I might just hack O2 to make it more likely to do its thing, to, to work. We'll see. I'm hoping we we'll have to deal with that. Do I have a list of the mods I use? Um, exclamation point mods is not exactly up to date, but it's, it gives you an idea. When I play no pause, I'm playing vanilla. Um, 
And so the main ones there are the Extended Pursuit Indicator and the uh, Better Plans of Backgrounds mods. Fucking hell, I should have known. Ah, god damn it. Game, god damn it, running away. You forgot to send the Whisper. Oh yeah, you were gonna send a Whisper with the mods, a link, yeah. Because I need to add that to that list, because you're a mod. Okay. I better use one missile just to make sure. Fuck this the game. fuck on, man. <laughs> the curse missile strikes again. Hey, that was a great triple reward right there. I think there were anonymous subs for Dragon Mike and Grima. Oh, you might be right. There were a bunch of an a bunch of anonymous subs. Was it yesterday or last Thursday, maybe? All right, last chance at a second store is here. Otherwise, it was down here somewhere that we didn't see. I could do the hacking upgrade. I want to check if this is a store before I do that, though. It's the Pursuit Indicator in the backgrounds you're looking for. Those links will work. Those might be older versions than the current version I'm using. Because I know that Mike Copley has done some updates to at least one or two of them. Hey, I think we're the gifted sub, Bounty Hunter. Alright, we do get a store. Okay. Come on, Flak One. Come on, Flak One. You get a whole laser one. Selling this 100% of the time. I mean, against two shield ships, whole laser one plus crystal H is not great. But it's something that doesn't use missiles. If that was level 3 piloting, who would have gotten away? Uh, Mylan Mike, not if my not if I had been paying attention and I, and I missiled him as soon as I saw that it did one shot the piloting. Although I also don't think they can have level 3 piloting in Sector 2, but I'm not 100% sure on that. The backgrounds mod is especially significantly different in your version of my copy. Okay. Storm Shield Bypass when we are not boarding. I don't think we're going to be doing that. Yeah, whole laser is mediocre, but I think I have to buy it. I think I'm also going to buy backup battery. I could buy the mind control and just be two out of three of my systems, but I think I'd rather get the power right now. I feel like I'm going to be really relying on my drone parts. I might just be having to buy hacking. I might have to buy hacking too coming up here. And I might use Swarm Missile a little bit long. Uh, I don't know, it'll depend on the ships we fight. It's a one shield ship. I'd probably use whole laser. I don't know, it'll just depend. My control's good for crew kills, yeah, but it's also expensive and we need an offensive upgrade. Look for the rebel ship, we're at the exit beacon. Alright, here we go. Safe fight. Uh, we should be able to crew kill this as well. While they're fighting him, I'm gonna see what uh, what all. It's gonna be three humans, I think, on this rebel invader here. Yeah, three humans. So we let this guy run. There we go. We let him get low. We let him board a second time. We kill the next guy. Um, with three crew, I feel like this is a bit harder though. What's up, Rosa GM? Let's go streak! That's right, March Rock. Hopefully, hopefully we can have a, a good day here. Just head tap them all. I don't know what head tap them all means, but um, there's gonna be one guy that's at full health. I watch FTL. I don't think they ever board you a third time if I keep one. Um, because there's one guy at full health. I'm I'm afraid that guy is going to be the issue. Is that the guy I'm piloting? Okay. Well, let's do this. We do whole laser on this guy till he's dead because we want only one damage on that, and then we crystal H this guy till he's below 15, and hopefully it's not too much damage to finish him off. Okay. 
And maybe we get a breach or something on this guy. Calculation. So it's 30 per hit. So the next one puts you at 40. 10. Okay, yeah, this should work. This should work. One more and then a whole laser shot should do it. It'll be at 10 health. There it is. Pop, pop. Okay. Not what I was expecting, but okay. Wow, that's really low scrap, I think, value that we just got out of there. You shoot piling, you can kill them directly. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a couple ways we could have done that. Rebel or rock? Sleeping dragon approves of that strategy. Cool. Uh, Rebel or rock? Rebel or rock? Um. Oh, sleeping dragon approves of the ion bomb. True. It's a one power weapon. One shot shields. After 21 seconds of being shot by missiles, I guess. The game is hard, even on easy. Risen Shadow Maximus Tridaus, what a name. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ion Bomb Love. Sometimes you want to get them both in the same room. I didn't know how to get both of them in the same room, Mike, without mic control. I guess I could have shot piloting and hoped for a breach, but it never happened, so it worked. It's fine. Um... I don't know how I forced them into the same room, Mike. I'm honestly leaning towards Rock here because it's two guaranteed stores. And we have Clone Bay to protect from Rock Live Mine. I'm not sure if Rock is more or less likely to have missiles than level 3 Rebel. I feel like, Mike, you said something about Rock is just as likely to have missiles as I think Abandoned 2 or 3 is. I will say Rebel could have auto assault ships in an asteroid field, so. Probably rock is better. If you shoot piling, they'll both repair it, huh? Okay. I'm gonna go rock here. I don't really love either of these choices, but I think this is the least bad, potentially. Connections are decent here, at least. Alright, should I get the level 2 hacking? Should I get Ion Bomb upgraded against a two-shield ship with missiles? Can they have cloaking in Sector 3, Rock? Do you know, Mike? Rock has very slightly more missiles than Rebel ships. Can they cloak in level in Sector 3? Main issue with Rock ships. They also have cloaking starting in Sector 3. Okay. Um, if they have cloaking and level 2 shields, what will I wish I had? An Ion Bomb? With cloaking, Ion Bomb never gets to fire before second cloak. I feel like I'd want hack two if they have two shields and cloaking. Rock beat scissors. Well, let's hope we are not scissors. I think I get the hack two here. Wish you had bought that fire beam. Yeah, that'd be so good against a bunch of rock ships. You'd know it. I wonder if I should be OMDing here. How often do rocks instantly board? I'm not sure, but it's probably worth doing this. Do I still have the streak running from when I did both Kestrel ships the other day? Uh, Magic Jack, we're on a streak of 10, so depending on how long ago the other day was, then I think yes. Uh, it's not a missile, but cloaking, but it's burst laser 2 and a bomb plus cloaking. Ugh. All right, we're going to hack weapons here. And I'm going to swap to swarm missile. Good dodge. Good frickin' dodges, man. Okay. Let's see if we can get fucking down. No fuck nice. Shit. Fuck you. Give me some fucking right, dodges, double. you shitty piece of shit. Uh, Alright, double fire on his weapons is good. Oh my god, really? Okay, I'm gonna just trust he'll get that out eventually. Good. Does that pull him out of repairing cloaking, I hope? I'm not sure if it will. 
I'll just please don't cloak while I'm firing here. Does he only have two crew on his ship? Maybe. That solar flare is going to wreck him now. Okay, it's in an empty room because I don't see any of my rooms on fire. Uh, okay, this this is fight's gonna take too long if I don't Death by fire another missile or two. Missiles, man. Could have swapped the whole laser already, actually. Oh my god, he's resisting. I'm gonna be here forever because he keeps resisting. Frickin' solar flare, man. Okay. Okay, I don't have to pick the solar flare. Because I can hit continue and then instantly hit J and I won't take the solar flare. But do I want to wait to repair my sensors? I think I'm going to not care about the repair and not take the solar flare. Okay. Uh, hack 2 is the better first upgrade, do you agree? My ship looks like a weird rock. The camouflage is immaculate. Alright, nice. Well, there's our store. It's kind of early to go to the store. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, and then I have the option. Yeah, let's go one, two, three. Uh, that means I don't get the distress. Do I care about distress in a rock sector? Can't remember. There's also the show them to your data suite, but I don't think it's worth spending scrap on level two sensors for the option chance for that. Um, blue option. What's up? Avi, how are you doing? All right, well, at least this gives us time to repair, I guess. Empty jump is empty, though. Good luck for today. Thanks, Crumpet Command. Appreciate it. All right. I'm going to have to skip the store if I don't get any scrap from this jump. Quest marker, Federation outpost, secret base. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, one more jump before the store. Please give me some sort of scrap potential, please. Okay, asteroid field, I think, means a ship fight. Okay, two shields. Halberd beam. I think we hack shields here. Uh, it's probably too early, but everything in the shield. Oh man, the asteroid field's doing work on me. Okay. Oh nice. Oh nice. The timing worked out so well for us there. Uh, Ramsey's for 50 months in a row. Tier two, 50 months. Thank you so much, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Where's your cake and your gold watch? <laughs> Checks in the mail. Checks in the mail. I promise. No, I should have waited. I could have gotten one more weapon training if I waited a little bit longer. But thank you so much for that support, sir. Did you have some family stuff over the weekend, I think you said? How did that go? I think you said that's why you had to miss the Friday stream. Or why we didn't, why you weren't available for that. All right, store. I could sell Swarm and Ion Bomb for Black or Mind Control if I wanted to. There's Mind Control. <laughs> Do I sell something to get mind control online? I'm leaning towards yes. I'm honestly leaning towards selling Swarm, because Ion Bomb we could get online with one more weapon power. Second store question mark? Good question. No, there's not. And I actually kind of already knew that because I've been there. I feel like it might be worth getting the mind control here. Help deal with borders. And I'm not even going to read that out loud, Zach Dog, because I don't want to start it right now. <laughs> I don't want to start that discussion right now. Swarm Missile sells for more. I can get mind control and buy a couple fuel. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. You've never used crystal ships. Would I say they are good? Uh, yeah, the crystal ships are pretty good. Crystal B is probably the best boarding ship in the game, or one of them, because Crystal Lockdown is such an insanely good ability. I don't know if that's good, but that's I'm gonna go with that. We have all systems except cloaking now. And I can deal with my control a little bit better. 
I mean, the border's a little bit better with mind control. This has been a very empty rock sector so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't remember the distress beacons in rock if they're a bunch of unique ones or not, but I guess I'm gonna go here. We have clone bay. I step away and you find two more weapons. Okay. I swear people say that so often. I step away and X. Okay, cool. Alright, thank you for being next sector. I did not want to quest up here I couldn't do without diving. Um, you're doing fine. You went home to see your parents and hung out with one of your best friends. It was a short visit. Parents are getting old, so I have to make use of even a little time. That's nice. That's nice, sir. I should I should do that more. But my parents live two states away. So that's my excuse for not going to see them more. Okay. We might take damage. We might, we might. Unless we get some good dodges. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Fucking single shit. Single shit shit. Okay. Just at least I did get a shield down though, so if I can keep down, hopefully. Yeah, at least we kept the ion down. I'm trying to not hack here. I'm trying to conserve my consumables here. As best as I can. Might have to hack soon here. Move my pilot. Uh, you know what? I'm going to move you to sensors here so I can do this. Keep that down. I know, drone park greed, but the greed might be important for the run, to be honest. Nice. Dead by Ashley. Um, let's see. Crystal A is also one of the best boarding ships in the game. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess if you buy teleporter on Crystal A, it would be a really good boarding ship. Uh, you spent all evening yesterday installing the new graphics card. Gotta take it for a spin tonight and hope it runs stable. Oh, that sounds fun. Um, your parents live on another continent, so every time you see them, you get to wonder if it'll be the last time, which is a bit grim. Yeah. Oh, man. Enjoy your family and loved ones while they're around, chat. I could definitely use that advice myself. From Dallas, two states away, north isn't so bad. Two states away, west might as well be four states away. Uh, it's two states away, west. They're in New Mexico. I think it's two states away. You have to go... Uh, it depends on how you get there. I went up through Oklahoma. I don't know. It's, it's a drive. It's a drive. I've only made it like once or twice. All right, his weapons are too good. I'm gonna I'm gonna hack this guy's weapons. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna. Okay. Somehow his versus are two still online. I guess he's got three or four value points there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, is it cheap to fly there? Is it? It's not cheap to fly anywhere. What economy are you living in? Five fuel, two drum parts. I'm gonna take that deal. I've never heard of a cheap flight, but I also am not good at looking at prices for flights, so... I am also have a different definition of cheap compared to probably you, I watch FTL, since you retired at 30 or 40 or whatever you did, and I'm a full-time streamer and singer. Not a lot of money in what I'm doing, so uh, my definition of cheap is probably different than yours. Your parents are that age that I could be dead tomorrow and no one, and one day it's going to be true. Yikes. Can I be the Crystal Crew? Uh, the Crystal Crew, yes, you actually can be the Crystal Crew. You may. Uh, v. 
There are some weird situations where it's significantly cheaper to fly somewhere than take a train. Well, train's not really an option when you live in the U.S., or at least not in Texas. Uh, now, a bus might be cheaper, but a bus would probably also take two days, so... And airlines like Southwest and whatnot were dirt cheap. You barely even get a seat. Type airlines for $50. Uh, I've never looked into that. Well, I might have done one... F I remember when I flew back to Dallas from New Mexico, it was not that cheap. Uh, but I don't know. I haven't really looked into it either because when I'm not streaming, I'm usually visiting my brother. That's a two-hour drive away instead of going to visit my parents, which is a 24-hour drive or a expensive flight away. So, um, Okay, let's just deal with this. This is a safe fight, actually. No, it's not a safe. Um, okay. Interesting. Can I quick kill this, maybe? I might be able to crew kill this, even with the extra border. There's no clone bay and no heal bay. There might be a crew kill here. Let's be patient. He's not teleporting them back, strangely. Let's go see here. Since this is a safe fight, we should at least go for it if it's possible. All right, um, if I mind control the pilot. Nah, we can just do it easy and kill him when he boards us. Come on, go into a four-person room so I can 3v1 you. Nice. back anyway. Alright, that's fine. We can just mind control pilot and this will work too. Uh, now you, all you need is a crystal crewmate to feel less lonely. Good luck on that. That is the rarest thing to get in the game. Is Well, apart from crystal weapons, is crystal crew. Okay, that'll finish them both. Nice. Not amazing reward, to be honest. Alright, do I want to refresh my crew? I all have really good training, so I don't know if I want to. You have $2.66 in credit card rewards. You're going to f get it on a flight in approximately two years for free. <laughs> okay. Um, do you not have, like, budget airlines like we do in Europe with Ryanair? Still pricey but cheaper than the main carriers? I don't know. You all ask me a lot of questions about flying. I, I fly as often as I watch TV, which is, like, once every three years or something. I, I don't know. You know what you could do? You could Google it if you really want to know, because I don't know. I haven't, I haven't. It's been years since I've gone on on a on a on a plane anywhere. Uh, sorry, mom's too expensive. Maybe next year, buy. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, also, my parents have been retired for like ten years, so they just go and visit people. My parents have visited me in the last six months or so. So, like, I don't feel like hugely motivated to take a trip out to New Mexico, even though my mom asked me all the time, and I probably should. I just... Uh, hold on a second. I just don't feel hugely motivated to do that lately. Okay, alright. Oh, wow, that actually hit. Okay. Let me go see if we can mind control. And I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about y'all. Maybe, maybe my family's a little different, but um, when you're not like married and have, you know, like a a companion to do that stuff with, often you're just sitting around bored all the time. And I know it probably sounds very insensitive or something but when i visit my family and it's me and my mom my dad and my sister for like a week i don't have anything to do i'm just bored out of my mind so that's why i don't i know i i shouldn't but that's kind of what happens usually when i go and visit 
Wow, we can get cloaking. Our systems are actually done. That's insane. That whole repair drone we got just it's huge there. Never come back air. Yes, I've never been on that air, airplane. Depends on where you want to go from this area. Big sub have expensive flights anywhere, pretty much. You don't know my local airports. Okay, look up Love Field Dallas. Love Field Dallas. And see how much a, uh, a flight from Dallas to New Mexico is. You can let me know. I have a feeling it's going to be at least 100 or 200 bucks. That would be my guess. There is Southwest Airlines does fly out of Love Field. So maybe there's slightly cheaper flights, but I don't know. An Amtrak line that goes through Dallas and down west through El Paso. It's kind of neat. One of the train stops is Sanderson. Interesting. I'll be honest. Going on a solo um, train ride that takes a couple days doesn't sound like a lot of fun to me. You bring your Switch when visiting family, yeah. The thing is, I it's hard to take your computer when you go on a flight, flight, and I take my laptop, try to play some games, but I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't... My family trips are usually not the highlights of my time. I really should do it more, but I think I'm going to skip this store. Unless I get something to sell here. Honestly, I should maybe give myself the option to backtrack. I don't know. We have all our systems. If I don't go to the store, it's not the end of the world. I just kind of need some fuel. Uh, got a week with my family. Kill me now. I mean, yeah, if I'm going to make a flight out to New Mexico, I'm not going to go there for two days and come back. All right, three shield ship. And they took out my shields. And that guy's locked in there. Jesus. And they fucking took out my hack. God damn it, game. Fuck is this fight? Um, I don't think I'm getting through here. Oh my god. Two, three shields, two defense drones. At least his weapons are kind of shitty, but holy crap, this guy's overpowered as hell, man. This is a freaking overpowered ship, is what this is. Thank God his weapons suck, or I would be in really big crap here. Yeah, I'm freaking never getting through these shields, I don't think. I might need to turn on my ion bomb here or something. Fuck is this ship? Can we even kill this guy? It's a good question. Um Why, why did I did not have that god damn it's on auto fire? Now we have a chance. Okay, one drone down. Okay, weapons down. All right, should be safe. My God, what an annoying ass fight this was. Okay, and we might even get to crew kill this maybe. Should have had shields. I'm not sure. Did we take damage? I think we might have taken damage this fight. Uh, does, is this his last crew? No, I think he's repairing something else. So I'd like to go over the crew kill if possible. I'm waiting for my hacking to be almost up so I can turn it off and let them in. There we go. Okay. That sh 
should be the crew kill. Oh man, what a terrifying fight. We took five free hole damage. But we got a Vulcan and 14 scrap for it. Worth maybe, okay. Um, for the same reason you try to keep your visits to two to three days max during that time, you try to visit friends, go out and do other stuff around your parents' place to keep you occupied, yeah. Traveling is just expensive. There is a guild meetup in Vegas in April, and the hotel has a $40 a day fee on top of the price. WTF is that, yeah. When you visit your dad, you help him on the farm and the shop, tinkering off far the tinkering of farm equipment. Interesting. Okay. Thank God that guy's offense was terrible. Okay. Can't wait for Rand to beat this ship, get like 15 scrap rewards. Well, the scrap was really low, but the Vulcan is something to sell at the store. Now I have all systems. Do I prefer better weapons or upgrades? Uh, I prefer a flak. I just always want a flak. We could pre-ignite a uh, Vulcan chat. We could totally do that. I really want better weapons, honestly, is what I want. You're pretty close to your scrap prediction? True. You forgot to mention the free Vulcan. Now you have all... Yes, um... Uh... Weapon pre-igniter, the Lulkin. Yeah, that would only cost me about a hundred and something scrap since I don't even have four weapon power to use the Vulcan. Yeah, there's no way I can do fire beam. No way I can do kind of any of this. Um, spent so much scrap on systems. Get a little behind on all my other stuff. Get the ion bomb upgraded so if we have another crazy... Frickin' three shield double defense drone ship. Can deal with it a little better. Okay, let's do this. We do have all our systems, and I do have drone parts. So even though I feel behind, I'm not really behind. I'm probably honestly ahead because I have my three systems. It's just we've had to spend so much scrap on systems, I feel behind on events and weapons, but probably fine here. We're just going to have some interesting, difficult fights to get through high amounts of shields and stuff. Oh, right as I get my ion bomb online, they asked me to sell him all of my missiles. I'm going to sell him five. You just had reverse ion field drop in consecutive jumps, including from Kazakh. Wow, that is pretty crazy. Right open, I have Clone Bay. Come on, man. Is that the... Second or third time I've had a chance of free fucking crew and instead get shit on. Ugh, god damn it. I got five free hole damage from the last potential free crew, and then we get free I get a loss of training and a free border. Give me a goddamn break, stupid game. Let me have <sighs> Let me not lose the fucking 50-50 every goddamn fight. That's what I'm trying to say. Could I not lose the goddamn 50-50 every fucking time, man? So annoying. Right, big giant missile. With boarding. Cause thwack. <laughs> um Alright, I better just hack his weapons here. The lesser known brother, Kostwak. Wow, if he triple dodged that, I was gonna be just be pissed. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, I guess we get to see Ion Bomb of Gondor's quality this fight as it keeps their uh, shields down for a very, very long time. I would like him to not board me. Is he gonna get through here? Yeah, he's not. Okay, all right. OMD value there. Low percent crew speed run, yes. Um, Cause the walk is your favorite mantis. <laughs> Okay, man, I don't want to lose the training, but I feel like I might need to refresh my dudes here. 
Oh, I hate to lose trading, but we need to do it. And a Mantis se Mantis Sector NG. We're Mantis Sector, right? Yeah, for a second I thought we were in NG Sector because I had that three shield double defense drone NG ship. But, you know, of course that was a Mantis taking over. Of course it was. It's worth losing the training to be able to deal with Mantis Borders better. Can we name the next enemy we fight Eugene? You name this enemy Eugene, Ion Bomb is coming in hot. What? What? What is? What the hell? Is, is that a meme? I don't know what that Eugene meme is. How much training has lost me in Clone Bay? 10%, I think. I don't know what that means. I think 10% means a different amount for every... different system. Maybe engines and piloting is the same. I don't know. All right, we just kind of need power right now. Dodge and power. I'll do the power first and the dodge next. We'll be able to get our, all our jumps here. Why do I always side with the fugitive? I don't always, but I usually do because it's a chance at free crew. And I, if you haven't noticed, I have three crew. Okay, cloaking. Oh man, I um. Ooh, okay, I think I have to hack piloting here. That's a lot of lasers. Ah. Oh. I'm not sure what weapon I wanted to go offline, but at least it was before the triple ion hit could have taken us out. Oh, damn, ion bomb's too slow. This is gonna hurt. Uh, fucking killed my doors, you piece of shit. Double fire while killing my doors. That's some bullshit right there. I'm not gonna be able to... If that spreads to Clone Bay, this is gonna suck. Oh, fuck you, FTL. Fuck your shit. God damn it. God damn it, FTL. Oh, God damn it. I was. I'm almost out of bombs. This fucking fight, man. This fucking fight. Double burst laser one plus an eye on whatever the fuck that is. And the double fire. I just used all my goddamn missiles, man. Oh, well, I, I did sell five earlier, I guess. It's my own damn fault. God damn it. Being low on power fucking sucks. Being forced into auto scout asteroid field fights in a fucking mantis sector. I don't know. I purposely didn't go to the rebel sector, and now I'm fighting nothing but NGs and rebels in this goddamn mantis sector. What the f, game? This is a goddamn mantis sector, and I've fought more NGs and rebel ships than freaking than mantis ships. I swear. Genuine question. Is there any scenario where do the asteroid field hacking shields is better? I don't know, Zach Dog. I don't know. You can test yourself. Uh, hy hypothetical questions like that, I'm just, my brain's not equipped to deal with right now. How does Rock A versus B versus C stack up? Rock A worst, Rock C probably best, Rock B second, I guess. All right, there is a store. God, I just, I need, I need non-shit weapons. That's what I need right now. I need some non-shit weapons. Can I find a flak? You had to pass on the side with the fugitive option yesterday because we were too low on HP, too risky, but normally you take it, yes. Oh my God, it really is nothing but goddamn auto scouts in this goddamn mantis sector. 
Oh my god. Yeah, check the VOD. There's the answer. And he's fucking running with double missiles and hacking. Fuck you, FTL. What is this fucking ship? Running away, double missiles, hacking, no fucking downsides to all the consumables. Run away to get jack shit for rewards. Apparently, would say that asteroids don't influence you in favor of shield hacks. If anything, they make you more inclined to hack weapons because the asteroids can help you get through. Fucking hell, man. Ah, no dodges for my shit. Level three piloting. Fuck you, FTL. Level three piloting, running Come on, away. Come man, these fucking dodges. That will delay the running. God fucking good damn dodge, it, Good game. dodge, good dodge. What the actual fuck? Okay, that's breached. Alright, we're actually safe here. Now, I think. Okay, I think we're okay. Oh, I'm gonna agree to not use another bomb. If this starts going up, I will use one. Okay. Oh, a zero damage fight. No, we took one missile. One missile. Okay. Uh, or we dodged it. I don't even know. Thank God. And our reward for all of the shit we just used? Probably like nine scrap because it's goddamn forward scout bullshit. Can we retrain weapons after more piling damage? I don't know. I'm not doing that against a missile ship running away. 15 scrap. That's a reward. Stupid ass board scout bullshit. Rand, why do you play this game? It's almost like you're not having fun. I know. It is almost like that, isn't it? Um, five, four, three, two. I have to go to store now if I want to get all my jumps. Okay. I know. Goddamn forward scouts, man. You wanted a flak, Ran. There's your flak. Congrats on the flak. Aren't you so glad you have the flak? Alright, I need to actually consider buying this. Because if we do the cloak hack cycle, I can hack weapons, cloak, and then flak delete shields. Yeah, I, I hate it, but I think I actually have to do it. The Roxy ship, the ship of choice for the newbie chasing that final ship unlock. Yeah. No, I think this is... Well, this is actually our second store in the Mantis sector. We're not getting another store. And what do we do? We go flak to crystal or flak to ion bomb? I guess it's flak to crystal. Yeah, with cloak hack cycles better than the charge, yeah. If we bought the charge, 55, we could maybe sell something, go a whole, uh, that'd be one, two, three, four. That'd only be five shots. For five power, it would be faster. God. We have a lot of very suboptimal choices here. Yeah, I think it has to be Flak 2 Crystal for the moment. And we Cloak Axe Cycle Weapons. My own question is, do I sell a weapon to get some more repairs and fuel right now? Does the hacking and or lowered levels in the piloting influence the time the drone takes to leave? Uh, I don't know, Torsten. Hopefully somebody in chat can answer that question. I guess you're talking about the Ford Scout running time. I think the only thing that matters there is 
engine level, but I'm unsure when they're starting to leave. I think there's some set timing on it. Um... Uh... It's 40 seconds in most events. There you go. Thanks, Mike, for answering that. Do I sell something? Do I sell something? I'm thinking about selling Ion Bomb. I kind of need engines, too. Yeah, I think, I think when enemies start running, there's an event-specific timer on it. I'm not going to sell anything yet. This might end up being my final weapon system, as terrible as this is. Very nice. Um, cloak that I am. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. We can just tack it. I cloaked too early. I cloaked as the missile fired, but before it actually fired, and I didn't get the dodge or I didn't that was that was awkward um better to sell the whole laser at weapons five you can go flak two crystal ion bomb I was thinking flak two whole laser one was better but I feel like if I'm I feel like not selling anything is better here because if I don't get any other weapons this run I will have wished I hadn't sold anything so and right now I need dodge and power that. Um, it's a balancing change. Can you imagine how annoying it would be otherwise with late game auto scouts leveling three cloaking level eight engines and running in, yeah, no time? That would really suck. The fight just started. Why does it say jump imminent? Yeah. Empty jump is empty. It already feels like that to you, Factoid. Mm. That's what she said. She said giggity. Uh, puts me at six fuel. I need any amount of scrap or power I can get. Please don't give me a map. Oh, you gave me a missile. Okay, I was not expecting that. Free weapon. I forgot you get a free weapon. From, you can get a free weapon from there. You know, results-based analysis says Flak 2 is a good choice. <laughs> God damn it, everybody wants to take my freaking fuel, man. All right, Slug Nebula. They'd have to change his name to the much faster than light drive for that, yeah. Alright, so I'm in a Slug Nebula. I need to get O2 upgraded. I think I'm going to get Instant Store to sell this whole missile. God, and I guess if I find out that they have a flak, I can come back around to it. Or maybe sell enough to buy it, maybe. Let's see, I just need fuel and stuff, though. Okay, no flak. I'm going to buy one power. Um I'm not gonna get the O2 yet. I'm gonna delay my level two O2 and hope I don't get wrecked by one of the O2 hacking events. Would I ever come back to the store? I bought all the fuel. God, I'm, I need to start considering buying crew soon here, because, Jesus, I feel really, even though I, like I said, I felt behind earlier because I bought all my systems, I actually still kind of feel far behind. I want to alt-tab and look at my scrap gains this run, but I'm not going to. I just feel far behind, man. We've gotten zero free crew. weapons. Three shots and a bomb. Yeah, I guess we still hack weapons. It's cloak hack cycle every time.
Ooh, that was almost really bad. Wow, those are some freaking dodges right there. Those are some freaking dodges. Uh, we somehow did one damage. I guess just the flak by itself did that. Now we're safe. Now we're safe. Whatever crew kill here. Um, with a heal bay and all these mantids, we need a fire. We don't really have a weapon for fires. Uh, it's distressful this build, but I, I can't argue with. Slow but steady progress, I guess. Um, I'm actually going to let him repair this once. See if I can pull crew in here and then crew kill in the weapons room. I don't think it's going to happen. Again, I don't like this build, but it's actually kind of working. I think Flack, dude, just... Explodes the ship, though. Yeah. Oh well. Oof, this slow, steady, annoying build. It's keeping us in here. Um, for your security, your card issuer may require additional authentication. No, no, that's for their protection. That's not got nothing to do with my own security and protection. They just want to offload the liability. I have no idea what you're referencing. I want you to. Uh, crew deprived is a bad feeling. Yes, I think I'm mostly behind on crew. Feel okay once I get weapons five and third shield. This is a nice chunky ship for hitting with flak two. Eight total shots isn't bad, just slow as dirt. That was maybe the highest flak two pattern you've ever seen right there. Seven shots inside about three squares. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, I think I need to get power before I do anything else. Okay, let's do that. And now we save up for either engines or shields or power or something. FTL equivalent of a 12 round rocky fight, yes. I don't even think I take this fight, do I? If his weapons are on this side of the room, side of the ship, where my flak just whiffs. He also gets free borders if I get to ask the goods, yada yada yada, and then get the ship fight. It's cloak two on this ship. Oh, you think we should get Cloak 2 upgraded next. Did your grocery shopping online. Turning up tomorrow. Okay. One advantage to manage of moving. You can use your recliner to watch Rand the way God intended. What is this picture? Oh. <laughs> well, nice. Nice big screen. Uh, I don't even think I want this fight, do I? I still don't have level 202, actually, in this slug sector. Uh, if I hack his weapons... He only ever has level 1 cloaking. Um, uh, man, do I do this fight with two shields? All right, I'm going to go for it. God, I hope I don't get wrecked by this. Continue, understood, and then forget this is the fight. Okay. It's just not the fight. All right. I'm kind of okay with it not being the fight, honestly. Weapon hack to split the ion blast and basic laser from the two burst laser ones is reasonable on that ship. Yeah, I gave myself that option. The flag of Trieste in your picture. I have no idea what that is. They're going to burn me out. I need my hacking. Okay. It's never going to be usable here. I have to wait for second cloak, don't I? Yeah, freaking flak two so slow you can't cloak on the first, or you can't fire after the first one. It's good. Go for the cloaking if I can. Okay.
Which lets me hopefully get a shot off before his clothing gets repaired, hopefully. Hope that one. Good. At least his weapons are crap. He's trying to get the two, three, two shields with just a single ion blast mark one. There we go. And we're still not safe. I thought that would make me safe, actually. There's the cloaking again. Cloak his next ion. I think. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I shot my crystal right as the ion that I dodged crossed the threshold and shot my own shot. Damn it. I cannot believe the ion just randomly hit my crystal H. God damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I gotta learn patience, man. I gotta learn patience. Fights like this are really difficult for me to not get antsy. I actually don't have to hack here. Okay, this should finish him. Okay. Okay! Um, with training, you think it would have been okay. Okay, that was a litter of dodges. Cheating slug dodges, yes. Alright, um, let me get the O2 before the level 2 cloaking for protection from long... F I feel like if I have a long fight and I don't have the O2 protection from, like, O2 hack, the slowness with which we kill enemy ships could get me in real trouble and lose all my crew to him killing Clone Bay after my O2 running out. So I think this is more important than a level 2 cloaking next, actually. But I might get level 2 cloaking next to have this whole cloak hack cycle thing. Damn, a lot of empty jumps here, man. I feel like this has just been the run of empty jumps in all these sectors. Guess I didn't lose a jump, I guess. Wow. A lot of freaking nothing this run. This guy's got a stronger build. Okay, we still do the cloak hack cycle. Counter the mind control. No free borders or anything, at least. Right, we have to, again, we have to wait for the cloak. We have to wait for the second cloak before we can fire once. Although, maybe that's what you're talking about with training. Alright, I'm going to try it once with training. You say with training should be fine. Okay. <laughs> with training, it actually isn't fine. The flat got there just in time. The uh, Crystal H did not actually get there in time. It's kind of goofy. Ah, the dodges have been insane. The dodges have been insane. I'm gonna wait out till the next cloak here. Because I just don't trust it. Wait for the cloak. Okay, I could have gotten the shot off there. Could have done it. It's fine, it's fine. I missed charge time because of OMD. Ah, okay, gotcha. Well, oh well done. Okay, safe fight, safe now. Fun with web, uh, power micro now. Alright, wait for the cloak. There it is. Nice. No surrender. You're dead. Beautiful. I still think I need to be OMDing, though, because of uh, wearing radiation events, so... Sadly, I don't think I can quite 
uh, do that. You need it to fire from the front. Wow, so if I do this, my weapons will actually get there in time. I wonder if that'll be the case without OMDing. Maybe it will. Interesting. What an interesting small bit of optimization. Because I have two unpowered weapons, if I have my we these two weapons at the back of my weapons, which puts them at the front of the ship, which is stupid and backwards, uh, my weapons might have actually hit before the cloak there. That's kind of ridiculous, actually. It's kind of ridiculous. So many goofy mechanics in this game, I swear. Uh, hmm. I still would prefer to have a flak one if I could find one. So let's see if there's a store up there by going one, two. And if there's not, we go three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, or something. I don't know. There are tactics that only work if you have unused weapons in other slots. I know, it's funky. Super funky. Uh, there are some ships it makes a difference on. The Federation ships all have a huge difference between weapons fired from front or back. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, this guy's weapons are ridiculous. I don't know if I'm going to actually... Um, go for the crew kill here. It'll depend on what what our shots do here. Black 2 might just do too much damage. Do I go for it? Let's see what the flak's hitting here. Looks like it's hitting weapons. I'll go for the O2. Okay, there's a... Uh... There's a chance. The cloak hack cycle here, I might go for this. I just have to be really patient. And not get completely screwed by a triple hit while at 95% dodge with burst laser 2. A single hit. Oh uh, man, I don't know that I'm patient enough for this, but we'll see. I know, good luck with Met Flack not murdering the ship, I know, right? Um, you know what I could do? Maybe a whole crystal will get one more damage on weapons, maybe? The O2 is not even freaking dead. What am I even thinking? He had level he has level 302. I didn't even freaking notice it, man. All right, screw that. Yeah, I didn't even notice R2 was still up. Level 302. Which is annoying, but honestly smart. <laughs> if you're going to build your O2 in a place where you can't get to it, you should probably max it out. All right, screw that. All right, well, I'm not disappointed in that crazy, amazing reward we just got. Free distraction buoys, baby. Pull the boys, everybody. Pull the boys. We got the boys. No one ever expects a level 302. I definitely wasn't expecting it. So if there's a store up there, I will go to it. Because I would I would trade my Flak 2 for Flak 1 so I could go Flak 1, Whole Laser, Crystal. That would just be so much better, I think. It's a poor man's scrap recovery arm distraction buoys. <laughs> well, sadly, I'll be selling them before I get any value, probably. Uh, but we'll see. Um, okay, I have seven drone parts. This is a... Guaranteed breach missile. So cloaking should be up every single time. I'm actually going to attempt to not use a drone part here. We should be able to cloak the missile every time. I'm only at 95% chance of dodge, so 95% chance to get wrecked, basically. Okay. Okay, alright. We 
should be able to cloak every missile because weapons are unmanned on this ship. Okay. Okay. Because there's only two crew and they'll be on piloting and engines, I guess, is the reason for that. It's a good distinction. I think I wouldn't have known that. That if they were manned, we probably do get hit by one of those. No, nope, not good enough. Slugs, maybe if we go around draining other people's O2, we should be prepared for them to do the same to us. Brilliant, I know. Brilliant, they're learning. I guess I should go there. This ship design kind of sucks for Flak 2. Another reason Flak 2 worse than Flak 1. Even worse of the accuracy debuff or whatever. Uh, did you know the hotkey for cloaking a C? Not because it stands for cloaking, but because the devs were fans of John Cena, because when you cloak, they can... Can't see you. 100% true, legit fact, not clickbait, and I totally didn't just make that up. Wow, and I totally, totally, totally believe you too. Okay, there is a store up there. Thing is, I also have a guaranteed store, I think, down here, so. Alright, let's go to it. There's a black one, I just want to buy it. If the weapons are manned, cloaking as early as possible can significantly increase how many you can cloak. Okay, that's good to know. Ugh, so many two-power, two-shot lasers or just outright crap, man. I've already sold a Vulcan. I think I buy an NG here, to be honest. I actually think I buy an NG here. We're in Sector 5 with no crew so far. Could have been double Vulcan with pre-igniter that I totally couldn't have afforded. I know, right? Not shield upgrade. Nah, with cloak hacking, shield upgrade's less important. I'm gonna buy the shield NG. I'm gonna save him on shields. And then have him OMD instead of my weapons guy. And then I need to think about what else we're doing here, if anything. Do I buy chain laser? <sighs> I would say flak one, whole laser one, crystal H better than flak two, crystal H. But I don't think chain burst, whole laser, crystal H is actually better than what we have right now. God, man, this sucks. <laughs> this really sucks. Do I need to buy drone parts or fuel? Um, definitely a couple fuel. I'm gonna buy one drone part. Really don't like any of this. Um, do I do this to have Ion Bomb available, maybe? To get my level 2 cloaking so we have the full hack, cloak, cloak hack cycle, maybe? I'm gonna hold off a little bit. I don't really want to spend any more scrap yet. I really want to give myself an option for swapping out weapons next sector if it's possible. Well, it's been a very, very disappointing slug sector. So many empty jumps. Okay, well, we're not backtracking. Okay, um. Beautiful. Crouching tiger hidden slugs. Yes, they're all hiding from us. They are afraid of our flak. They've heard what we can do with a flak too, or something. I should pull the pilot, right? Um, it does not pull the pilot. That guy might actually die, though. When he starts running, that pulls a pilot. Perfect. I 
If you guys could fight in there, that'd be great. Oh crap, that's gonna make you run it. Oh no, the breach! Oh, they fixed the breach! How'd they fix it? Eh, well. No cool kill. You're surprised I hacked that? I normally like to save the parts. I do, but... Um... Charge Laser Mark II? Could do damage if he fully... Fully spins up. I just... I'm, I'm playing safe right now. With... with with a 21 second charging flak 2, I'm probably going to hack every weapon system, honestly. They stuffed a human right into there, okay. Oh, I forgot that I had distraction boys to sell. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I didn't sell it though because I wouldn't have really gotten anything with it. So, alright. We got value. Now, NG stores. NG stores. Surely an NG store has a flak one. Surely. Um, do I do an upgrade? Though, if I fight a three shield, two defense drone, NG, I will probably want the ion bomb online. Do that at least. Good start to an NG sector. Free frickin' stuff, man. Free frickin' stuff. Love me some free freaking stuff. That puts me at nine missiles and six drone parts and gives me a power. That's a good deal, but I don't, th I don't think I can take it. I think I'm too reliant on drone parts. What do we think, chat? NGs have been littering their drones about again. I like it. Yes, because the NGs are so well known for using trash cannons. I know, right? I think it's a nope. I think I agree. I think we're too reliant on all of our consumables to give any away for power right now. Disrespectfully decline. Alright, 78 scrap store with a combat drone and distraction buoys to sell. Okay, let's check it out. Come on, Flak 1. Come on, Flak 1. No weapons. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this. You might think, but you might get one more little bit of value out of it. I'm selling it at one of the two or three stores in this sector anyway. Might as well sell it now and see how much scrap we have to work with. So my goal is just to find better weapons. You might say, just get third shield, Rand. But I really, again, cloak hack. I probably should do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Do the true cloak hack cycle. Um, have it ready to go. And that doesn't cost me too much. I can still afford a flak one. Okay, it's gonna board us. These weapons kinda suck. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna not... I'm gonna try to save the drone part here. This... This should... Timing should have been okay. It was close. It was really close. What do we got over here? NG repairing. Okay. Um... I will use one bomb, though. I feel like this run is going to be a results-based analysis run for people on YouTube who go, Rand, see how good Flak 2 is? It's been so good on this run. Based on this one run, results-based analysis show, I should value Flak 2 highly, more highly. Nice reward. And honestly, I probably should, but I still don't like it. <laughs> I really hate long-charging weapons. I have Ion Bomb and Flak 2, two of my least favorite weapons that probably aren't actually that bad. I just don't like them. <laughs> they actually probably are not bad. Sleepy Dragon's like, yeah, I know, it's good. Uh, don't you need Hack 3 for the full cycle? Yes, but Cloak 2 plus Hack 2 is very safe. They only fail against, you can Dragon says, really fast weapons. TL, the game where you sell the Mark 2 or 3 weapons to buy the Mark 1 or 2 weapons, respectively. It's not fun, but it's good, yeah. It, it's good if you know... How to use cloak hack cycle, I would say. 
Because you have to be safe, because the fights are going to take a gosh darn year. Fights are going to take a year. So. Yeah, it's like one of those things where you use it if you don't have another choice. Yeah, we're definitely cloaked back and cycle this. I didn't even use Cloak 2 there. Okay, that's fine. We got his weapons completely down with the uh, Ion Bomb doing its, doing its work, doing its job. It's funny, I got this um, sensor train or shield trained NG and I'm not even using him on shields. The other thing about the whole cloak hack, cloak hack cycle, and this is just a me problem, not a problem with the strategy, is very micro and timing and difficulty intensive. Like it's, you have to time things really well. It's, on, on no pause, it's a lot trickier to not screw up your timing. That's probably the other reason. It's a higher skill ceiling to use all these things at the right time. I think that might be one of the main reasons I've delayed using it so much because when you have to move power around, when you have to time things perfectly, when you have to deal with borders at the same time, it's ooh, it's a lot of brain and micro power. It's micro intensive, I should probably is probably the best way to say that. Up Carson climbs. Fights can drag on much longer if you are struggling to get through enemy ships at all. Flak 2 doesn't struggle. Well, the Flak 2 doesn't, but all the other things you have to do while you're waiting for the Flak 2 to charge time does cause some struggle. Do you like this Smiler? That is a very meme-tastic emote. Do I like it? No, not really. <laughs> yeah, it looks weird. Looks weird. All right, um, I have enough to get a weapon upgrade. Let's get the hack, power, shield value. Let's get those three things, maybe. Do I have anything to sell? The flak, too, if I find another weapon I like better. Let's just do a little bit of these. A little bit of... Uh, actually, let's do the engines. So we have max dodge. When we actually dodge, let's do that. That is true. Also, be glad you don't have to manually move three Zoltans through a dead-end two-tile hack room to make hack cloak work. I'm happy about that. Holy crap, a weapon floating in space. No, I'd like a, a, a crew man floating in space. Can I get a free crew? <laughs> I need a free crew, man. That's what I really need. Uh, can be good to find a fight where you'd be completely safe where they have really slow weapons like Burst Laser 3 Halberd or whatever, and then you can practice when not even bothering to fire the weapon, so... Yeah, I'm probably not going to do practice like that while I'm doing the streak, but it would be a good idea to do practicing for that. I keep hoping to find a flak one or something. Um, do I even keep this? I am doing well, Carson. I am. Anyone have any tips for getting the diplomatic immunity achievement? Getting four crew blue options with fed. Uh, go to a lot of civilian sectors on the fed A. Civilian sectors have a lot of blue options, I think. Recruiting, floating in space. Best I could do is Mantis to claws your face off when you open his escape pod. Okay, thanks. Do I even keep this? Um, are we in sector six or seven? We still have another sector. I don't even know if that's safe in five. I guess if I'm not buying anything with it, there's no reason to sell it. Oh, man, I might need to buy another crew. Do I need to buy another crew? I'm gonna buy a couple fuel. 
I'm gonna not buy drone parts, I don't think. Man, these stores have been trashed here today, man. No long range scanners. No flak ones or burst laser twos or heavy laser ones. No, if I buy a crew, I'm buying an NG. Just for faster repairs over a human. One more sector, and I think we have a green or a red choice, I think. I'm very seriously considering buying, buying a crew here. We've gotten literally zero free crew this run. Let's get Mr. Booga here. Mr. Booga becomes a silly silly Booga device. What's up, hi-ho? Ah, oh, man, this is the, uh, we had to go to the garage sale. To buy our weapons run is what this is. Okay, well, we're gonna say. Oh, I thought that I got free drone parts or something. No, I might actually do this. If I go one, two, three, four, five, dive. I get how many extra jumps? I'm getting three currently. I get five. I get two more that cost me an extra fuel. That gets me a quest and maybe a store if it's there. If the store's up here... Maybe I even divert my path to go to a store up there. Yeah, no. I am not. I am denying that request, Pseudo Drifter. He's a silly device. I can turn Turing into Mr. Booga, but I'm not making silly device of Mr. Booga. I deny that request. Right, I think I'm going to dive, whether it's towards a, the quest or a store, I think I am going to commit to the dive, which means going to the Exit Beacon, except Exit Beacon is an actual jump. I reserve the right to deny requests if you're trying to take away my silly device. Okay, Exit Beacon store, here we go. And still trash. Uh, what about Pike Beam? Do I go Pike Beam here? I think I might actually have to go Pike Beam. Black 2 Pike Beam is probably better than anything else we got going right now. As sad as it is to say. Here. So that you're not wasting your cookies. Mr. Booga's on shields. There you go. Definitely better than a whole laser, you think? Now the question is, do I go looking for another store, or do I go get this quest that has me backtracking once? The quest was, they gave me fuel to, I think it was just Escort, wasn't it? Maybe it's Hidden Federation Base, I'm unsure. Yeah, I think... I think we do this. All right, what do we think, chat? Do we think a quest in an NG sector is better, even though we got to backtrack once, or do we go one, two, three, four? So we get, like, four potentially empty NG jumps, which could include a store. It was Incompetent Captain. That's right. How does Incompetent Captain work? FTL Incompetent Captain. Looking for a less incompetent captain. But he didn't give me five drone parts, though, did he? Merchant's delivery. Could be like an empty thing that I need level two med bay. I honestly don't want to go to the quest. I'm pretty sure he didn't give me drone parts, which is weird. Yeah, the one with so many different options. I feel like it could be empty. It could be something I don't do because it's need level two heal bay. It's Merchant Investigation, not Merchant Delay. 
or not merchant delivery, merchant investigation. I think that might actually, so it's this one. So medium scrap, investigate the cargo. Um, fighter pirates. Actually, actually, that one might be worth. Um, you know what? That might actually be worth doing. We could get a weapon, yeah. So if I do it that way, I'm go. I'm going one, two, three, four to only have to do the exit beacon dive. Yeah, I think we do that one. I think we do do that one. Doesn't that require going to another beacon? Yeah, but we have Sector 7, so Factoid will take me to Sector 7. Um, so do I want fuel because I'm doing this? I think I do. Let's get three extra fuel. Let's do that. It'll never... With this, I don't think it'll even have the option to put a quest, the next quest beacon, into this sector. Now we're in 6, not 7, thankfully. Yeah, it seems guaranteed to not be empty. Hopefully, we're not wrong. That one could have been not empty, and it was empty. <sighs> we have had just a plethora of empty jumps this run, I swear. Eh, okay, it's a ship fight. All right. Not ideal. I'm going to try to not use a drone part here. Be able to poke the bomb and be safe. Oops, I should have taken out the hacking. Oh well. It's probably... I was going to say it's probably level 2 hacking, but actually it's probably only level 1 hacking. Well, now I have no O2. Jesus, this guy's doing crew kill strats on me. Freaking crew kill strats. Hack O2, bomb O2. Shoot O2, apparently. Thanks for the five bits, BJ. Appreciate that. A plethora of piñatas? <laughs> oh, yeah, Guapo. You have a plethora. Jefe, do you know what a plethora is? Eh. All right. I don't know that that was worth the dive. We got one ship fight for like four jumps worth of fuel. That does not feel super worth. I know with your superior intellect and intelligence. Sorry, I can't do the whole Three Amigos quote because I'll just get like lost in it. Uh, okay, so we are going to hack weapons. We're going to do our, our strategy here against the dive ship and hope we can cloak the ASB timing. Pretty crappy dive, yeah. For score, I'm pretty sure my score is going to be really low because of, you know, all those empty jumps, by the way. Pretty sure that's what we're actually going to be causing our low score. At least we don't have to deal with boarding here. Let the beams fire, actually, not the bomb. Wow, that's a lot of dodges. All right, I guess we just leave. Just leave. All right, civilian seven. Thank God we didn't have forced abandon. Oh my God, that would be terrible. All right, Civilian 7. Beautiful. Ooh, and we're in a nebula. Okay, Civilian Nebula. Please save me from my low scrap run. Please, Civilian Nebula, save me from my low scrap run. What's the difficulty increasing for dive fights? Um, uh, You're always fighting an elite ship that sometimes has boarding and always has high levels of weapons and shields for the sector that you're in. I think it's always. This could be a very lucrative sector. Um, I have clone base, so I can do manly search. I don't need level two piloting. Um, I 
I'm gonna get one power for potential half power nebula jumps. Depower some things in case I get those. We're gonna get all of the nebula jumps, I think. Yeah, dive fights are elite ships which have their own already set of rules. Yeah. Manly search, first jump, alright. Four damage for a scrap recovery arm is 63 scrap. That is like a 88 scrap plus consumables deal. I approve of that deal. That is a good deal right there, man. That is a good deal. Yeah, uh, dive ships are over level compared to the current sector, though by the end there's a little difference apart from hull. What was the quest? Oh, that's a good question. The quest was... A merchant delivery, and we just got a ship fight. So it was nothing amazing. Merchant delivery with a ship fight. Sadly. Very manly man, thank you. I work out. <laughs> Best augment in the game, yeah. Manly man doing manly man things. Sector 7 scrap recovery arm. Don't sell it. If we keep it to the end, we can clickbait the YouTube video. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that. All right, uh, that's a burst laser three. That's cloaking. I think I'm gonna actually hack the piloting here. Is that what I wanna do? It should hit with our placement and stuff, so I'm gonna go for this. The training and the placement and stuff. Okay, all right, it did hit. Uh, I probably should have hacked weapons, to be honest. The burst laser three. I thought maybe we could get our shot off in time or something. Alright, we got it. We're gonna wait for the next cloak, I think, because our flak got reset. Yay for repair training, I guess. Let's say this is a repair training fight or something. No, I'm gonna cloak this one though. Probably time for third shield. It's probably past time. I've been trying to save for like weapon upgrades. Let me do one more jump to see if this is a store. If this is not a store, we'll get third shield. I will get shield value though for the jump between here. Free scrap recovery arm sector seven will probably net you about 40 extra scrap. It'll, it'll get me an extra 25 when I sell it. That's for sure. Okay. No store, get the shields. But Rand, why would you sell it? You got it for free. Because, because. Although honestly, you know what? If I don't find a weapon worth upgrading into, it might actually be worth keeping it. Because isn't scrap recovery arm's best value when you um Get higher amounts of scrap is is I feel like we've had this discussion. Is scrap recovery actually better when you're getting higher amounts of scrap or something? Because it's ten percent of a higher number is a higher number, I think. I don't know. That's math, and I'm doing it on stream, which is a big no-no, as we all know. Big no-no, as we all know. No. Good swipe. Lots of heavy lasers on this guy. I'm not used to these weapons being on four and three. I'm having a hard time microing that. Not nearly enough scrap for this sector. Good. Confirmation math. How Rand feels about math, I know, right? 
You're actually pretty sure, unless we're replacing with something, it's worth keeping. Yeah. I, I probably will sell... Uh, scrap recovery arm if there's good weapons to swap it out with. Or maybe good augments. If there's not, I might actually keep it to get more upgrades on our ship. Definitely worth keeping in late sectors unless you need to sell it to get something at the store. Yeah. Gained us an entire nine scrap so far. Such so value. Well, you joke, but nine scrap and like a couple jumps is not bad. It's not, not bad. By the end of the run, if it makes us more than 25, which is what we'd sell it for, it might be worth, might have been worth keeping. Results-based analysis. Uh, two more nebulas. I think one more nebula gets us an extra jump, so I probably don't need to go to this one. We get 300 scrap of Sector 7. Scrap recovery arm is going to get you an extra 45. Uh, clone bay does protect us? Yes, I'm pretty sure it does. Good. Okay. It'll probably make us more than 25 factoring in Sector 8 scrap. Yeah, if we don't get a really terrible Sector 8... Probably nets us more than it's worth selling. Probably. Watch my stores be up there. Um, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Man, this looks like it's going to be a hard sector to get around, I guess. That'd actually be best to go around that way, probably. Okay. Uh, it kind of depends because of how scrap recovery arm rounds. It can do weird stuff. E.g., if you get two jumps or you're in 20 and 20 and it gets you plus four, and if those jumps give you 21 and 19, you get plus three instead. It is weird. That is weird. I definitely don't need that fuel. I don't think I need it anyway. <laughs> Alright, play it safe. Just do the weapon hack shenanigans, shenaniganigans. Wow, what a what a suboptimal build. It's been build. It's been a while since I've been forced to have a flak two pike beam build. <laughs> this has been a while, but I guess this is good practice on this run, playing with a suboptimal build. I guess. I feel like we had a flak two run a couple weeks ago too that we were kind of forced into. Yeah, it's it's fine. It's it's not terrible. Feels not amazing, but it's not terrible. All right, here's a store with reloader, mid-tier weapons, stealth weapons. Okay, there's another store. I mean, charge burst pike crystal island bomb is that better than flak two pike beam? We believe we did have a flak two run and then swapped before the boss. You're hoping we keep it through the boss here. Ah oh, man, how many two power two shot lasers have we seen? I know we saw a charge laser earlier. We had a whole one. We saw a chain laser. Here's a burst laser one. I think we've seen about four, four to six of them. Is it just you or the crystal weapons kind of underwhelming? Yeah, they're not great. What about automated reloader for our? Flack. That that might actually be worth it, right? I passed on two fire beams and three Vulcans. I think only two Vulcans. We got one for free. Well, maybe there were two stores with Vulcans, and I forgot about them. Saves two point one seconds. That two point set one seconds might be useful. Phase one of the boss when he's cloaking the first time. I think this guarantees our first volley. Our, our first volley happens before his second cloak, even if he, like, boards on my weapon. So I think I'm going to do that. 
not going to repair here since we have the free repair coming up soon. We have another store of opportunity. Still need a lot of power. Oh, uh, goodness. Okay, I need power. Uh, backup battery hacking onto his weapons. Take my mind control. I didn't get on his weapons. Crap. Uh, Jesus. I don't have cloak up for the missile. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay. Why did I think weapons were going to be there? I don't know. Um. I can't aim my goddamn pike beam when I'm getting 20,000 goddamn pop-ups in the middle of my weapon thing, man. God, I hate pop-ups. Well, I'm trying to freaking aim my weapons. Jesus. Oh, okay, we didn't take damage there. Thank God. Freaking hell, man. Hey, would you like? No, how would you like this? Oh, how about this? Oh, I want to surrender. Uh, st st stop it. Let me aim my freaking weapons, you stupid game. Let me aim my goddamn weapons. Oh my god. Yeah, it was a good fight. It was almost really, really bad, but it's fine, it's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We can dive for other stores somewhere if we need to. Um, you can press two on the keyboards. So you don't have to move the mouse over. Uh, Mylan Mike, you don't know what my settings are, so your suggestion uh, isn't actually applicable, sorry. We are using Disable Haunt Keys on Event Choice because if you leave it on Numbers, if you press 2 to use a weapon right as a pop-up comes up, even with brief delay, do you know what'll happen? You'll make a choice that you wish you hadn't made. Happened to me many, 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 many times. Sad to say. There's not an ideal thing, selection for pop-ups in no pause, in my experience. There's just not an ideal option. Because in no pause, you're pressing keys many times. Sometimes while trying to do other things, and it just... Frickin' pain in the ass is what it is. Okay. We should be pretty safe here. I'm totally not bitter about it, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally not bitter. I think there's a better swipe. Uh, it's not a bad deal, but I want crap tons of scrap. So. Uh, Rand knows that the best offense is a good defense, so therefore, in a way, the shields were the weapons. Kappa Kappa Lol. They have a special enemy only augment called Distraction Pop Ups. Yeah, it's very effective. It's very effective on me. Uh, pop ups are the hidden mini boss of FTL. I guess you'd have to completely change your control settings or something for it. Sure. Uh, thank you for the 10 months of Prime Savage Average. Appreciate that. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Hmm, I get to see if there's a store here if I go to this one. Alright, I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four. Then I can go five back, five back, if either of those are stores that I want to go to. Pain in the asteroid. <laughs> yes. NG crew. Woo! Glad I went to that distress signal. Alright. Alright, we have a lot of stuff to sell. Is the final Sector 7 store 
the one that finally has not 21 second trash tier weapons. Find out next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Show your friends. Do 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 So many frickin' pop-ups. Um actually let's do it this way. I now have an NG from their ship piloting my ship, strangely enough. 55 scrap. Oh man. Finally, this Sector 7 has actually been huge in helping us play catch up with how far behind we were in scrap. Reigniter Flak 1 store. Reigniter Flak 1 in store. Honestly, if there's a Flak 1, I probably don't buy a Preigniter. I don't know. Find out after this short commercial break. Adam West rules for this commercial break. Raid Shadow Legend sponsors this stream. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. All right, for comedy value, weapons here should be Vulcan Glaive Burst 3 in the store. That would be pretty crazy and rare if all the rarest weapons were there. Burst Laser 2, Fire Beam. Okay, Halberd Beam. Okay, okay. Here we go, chat. Here we go. Finally, 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 non-trash tier stuff. How do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? I kind of do want to buy all three of these. So we can burst laser two fire beam phase one for crew kill, and then burst laser two halberd beam phase two and three to, you know, ship kill. Uh, it's really expensive to do all of that. Eighty plus fifty is one thirty. One ninety five. One ninety five. I think I'm doing that. I don't know that I do reloader because I'm pretty sure I need to get shiznizzle tons of power to be able to power all my stuff that I'm behind on, so... Okay. So we do this for most fights, but we swap over to Fire Beam for crew kills. Um, I go one more weapon power for the Crystal H. I need a lot of power right now. Reconstructive feels luxury. Um, so one, two, three, four. Because that. Dodge power. Probably want this so I can go burst crystal halberd. And then get dodge power in sector 8. So many value points I'm still missing too, like piloting clone bay and stuff. I think this is good for now. I think this is good for now. And uh, we now have a good crew killing setup for phase 1 on the boss. Our weapons don't take 20 whatever seconds to charge. Okay, I feel a lot better. Fire beam, best beam. Well, it's definitely the best meme, that's for sure. Now we can start like hacking shields and wrecking people. Wow, this guy's weapons suck. I didn't even need to hack, probably. Well, defense drone, four shields. I probably didn't need to hack shields, honestly. Get one shot almost. Almost a one shot. Pink Chain Laser and Pseudo Drifter is best meme. Pseudo Drifter is a meme? I thought Pseudo Drifter was a viewer or a FTL player or something. <laughs> I know, complete overhaul of our weapons. Sadly for Sleeping Dragon and his hopes for our uh, Flak 2 in the boss fight, we have much different weapons. Burning people to death with Firebeam is worth bricking the run. You think we're bricking the run with this build? 
Okay, well, it's definitely worth a dive for a little extra potential scrap. As long as it's not empty, good. It's not empty. Here, we will hack weapons. Oh my god, he had free engine hack, because why not? Oh man, this weapon system feels so stinking good after an entire run with, well, most of a run with Flak 2. Flak 2 did work, but oh, I'm glad I don't have to use it on the boss. I'm very glad about that. There will come the day when Rand has to use Flak 2 Ion Bomb against the flagship. Thankfully, it is not this day. It is not this day. <laughs> Uh, you think Rand is beautiful and frankly don't see anything wrong with that. Wow, that was very nice of you to say. I will swear profus profusely though, yes. Oh, I will swear profusely having to use that build you're talking about yet. Oh, there's our other store, by the way. Okay. Well, we're not diving twice for a store when we just finally got good weapons. Do I need to hack that? 16 seconds, I think 11 seconds, 10. I don't think I need to hack that. I don't think I need to. Famous last words, probably. Okay, good dodges. All right, safe dive, clean dive, easy dive. Let's go kill the boss, hopefully. Okay, free repair. I hope I get one repair station for drone parts. That's all I kind of need. All right, they're both around the base. Damn, our third one is either here or behind my head where the boss spawned. Okay, not quite ideal repair stations, but Honestly, we might not get either of these, depending on where the boss goes. Oof, and how quickly the other one gets taken over. Alright, so if we get uh, not enough time, we need to swap Halberd Beam to Fire Beam. So that we don't have to, you know... Get the low scrap rewards. Looks like we gotta go around this way. Okay good weapons. We're going to hack the weapons. Alright, missile's down. That's worth Get everybody to fight these guys. Everybody pile in. Oh my god. Wow. Reverse Ion Field is not amazing, but 70 scrap? That is amazing. Uh, I don't think I get more for killing you, so sure, I'll take a Reverse Ion Field for the boss fight. Sure. It's a brave pirate in the middle of his battlefield. Yeah, right. He had a reverse ion field. What does he have to worry about? Yeah, 70 scrap is huge. If we get a store to sell that, it'd be great. But I, you know, Sector 8. Honestly, I don't know if it's worth going to the store if it misses us out on a repair station. Sell scrap recovery arm too. Hmm. Isn't 70 maximum in hard mode? Uh, I don't know. I feel like we've gotten higher than that. I think I'm going to skip the store. So I'd like to give myself a higher chance to get repair. Scrap recovery armor has earned its spot. Have you been keeping track? Uh, it's a 50% chance to negate ion damage is what it is. So the reason I say it's not very good against the boss is because there's only one phase, phase one, where he even has an ion weapon, so... My copy says max is 79 scrap in hard mode. Okay. 
The problem is if I go to the store, it delays me getting to the base one, e one extra jump. I could buy drone parts here, but then I might have to like do double dive through like here and here. I'm going to skip the store because I don't think the value of getting a couple drone parts and selling an augment or two is worth more than a potential lost ship fight. So what I'm going to do is just get some value points right now and skip the store. Should visit the store if repair is not guaranteed. I don't think the value of a store is worth more than all the things that I just said, so I'm gonna just disagree with some of the folks in chat here. I think value of potential extra jumps in sector sector eight. Oh, I unworked. Is higher value than going to a store. Don't forget to swig swiggity swag my sensors. This is definitely not a run where swag centers is happening. Oh my gosh, now I should go back to the store. <laughs> I have so much stuff to sell now. Uh, I'm not doing it. I'm still not doing it. I still think it's better to not backtrack. If there was a better route, like say if this wasn't taken over and I could have gone store to the base to there, I would have gone there. But... Look at these rewards we're getting from Sector 8. These rewards we're getting are worth more than selling the stuff we have at a store for half price or whatever. So, I think this is better what we're doing. Um, sensor value, back of battery value. I mean, do we ever get... Man, I wonder if we ever get the fire beam. You know what? Let's hold off on these other values. Maybe I can actually get the fire beam if I get enough scrap here. Why can't I hold all this free stuff? Oh my god, an outpost! This results-based analysis, watch me get a double or triple reward that's worth more than over 100 scrap from this outpost in Sector 8. This right here is going to prove that going this way was the correct choice. I'm pretty sure outpost is a guaranteed double reward, and in Sector 8, this is going to be a ridiculous amount. I hope. You're watching. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right. <laughs> Watch it be 20 scrap and 40 scrap or something stupid low amount because I'm bragging about it now. Let's see. Let's see what it is. 54, 52, 106 scrap from that jump. There you go. My results-based analysis says I made the right choice. Skipping the store was the play. And I'm going to have my entire weapon system online here. This is badass. This is badass. We get this and maybe even the repair. Outpost is guaranteed double in any sector. Cool. I think we've gotten uh, at least 50 extra scrap from scrap recovery arm. Nice. Well, we got some little free stuff the rest of this run. It's like we finally have gotten our free stuff at the end here. Backup battery lets us turn our sensors, I mean our uh, hacking all the way on and our dodges all the way on. Let's do that one. And we don't need to be on doors. Be on sensors. All right, the goal here is to crew kill, which first laser fire beam is going to be our best tools for that. We need to hack shields. First laser shields, fire beam from missiles across through shields, and probably help her beam his missiles down. But I need to delay the hack a little bit because fire beam is a little slow. Okay. Yay for scrap recovery arm value. This run, based on our results based analysis, says scrap recovery arm is so good. Ritkoff will love it when we say that. Okay, what's the hack? Please not weapons. Please not weapons. Or hacking. Engines, we take. We take that. Means we probably get hit by a few more missiles, potentially, but... Now let's wait a little bit, because of fire beam. Go now. Hook this. Come on, you should have zero dodge. Triple dodge. Dodges. Ooh. 
Okay, that should be good. Four fires in the shield room, baby. Oh, we might take a beam here. Here, okay, no, good. That is a lot of fires. D -d -d Triple kill. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can set some other stuff on fire here. Um, let's also see if I can get this online. Okay. Okay, I think there's one guy still alive. We actually might have gotten too many crew kills there. Nope, one guy still alive. Perfect. Perfect phase one. Zero damage, killed all but one crew. Look at Firebeam go, chat. Look at it go. Doing work. Doing work, man. Oh, did I just side room bug kill him? Oh no, did he get in the side room bug? Holy crap. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, that would be really unlucky if that happened. Alright, it's not a huge deal, but annoying for sure. It was close, you're not sure? Okay, we'll hope it didn't, but if it is, it's probably okay. Still annoying if that happened, though. Oh my god. Set a fire in the weapons, because that'll be super useful. Yes, bonus scrap jump. I'm hoping to get um, my last value point is sensors, I think. Let's see if we can get our last value point here. For no more hard mode, why do you leave one crew for phase two? Uh, you actually want one crew left for phase three. Because if you leave one crew alive phase three, he won't board you. And he won't have the auto manning bonus from having no crew. So unless you have teleporter, you want to leave one crew alive so that phase three, he doesn't get the auto repair, auto dodge, auto manning systems that he gets from ha having no crew becoming an auto scout. Or AI, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> just burn down the piling, it'll be fine. It's true, with our fire beam online, we could just burn him down. This, and actually I want one more. Actually I want two more power. Can I get two power and the sensor value? That's good enough. Good enough. All right, time to find out. Did we accidentally side room bug the last guy? Let's hope not. They actually get higher dodge with zero crew than with one because of the manning bonus thing. Yeah, there. That's a TLDR of how to say it. We got precisely zero free crew this entire run. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, the only crew we got was the two NGs we bought. That is kind of insane. Results-based analysis says, man, it's a good thing I bought those NGs. Damn it, we did side room bug kill him. Damn. Oh, that sucks. And this guy won't sadly get shunted into the ship. Sadly, sadly. Can't cloak the missile, I don't think. No. Oh my These god. Holy crap, we just took a lot of attacks there. Holy shit, that was a lot of damage out of nowhere. What was that? Was that the triple shot with all the drones hitting me at the same time? That was seven damage out of effing nowhere. Beam hit? I think it, I saw my shields down. I think it must have been zero dodges from the laser shot plus the combat drone. I'm pretty sure we dodged a couple missile shots. I don't know. Whatever. So it's only seven. It's fine. Really annoying and unlucky, though, it feels like. If you set this ship on fire, the AI can't repair it, so at least we have that. True. So we probably want this here and this be the value point if he missiles my weapons once. I right, get one more power. We do that. We could have cloaked since we killed before the drone surge. Yeah, but I don't think... I don't think it was a correct play to cloak the missile, assuming I was going to kill him fast enough to not take the drone surge. So, 
That's the kind of results-based analysis that kind of frustrates me. That's the kind of things that people say on YouTube. Well, if you had just done this, this would have happened. And it's like, yeah, you're not taking into consideration the reason why I made that choice. So I don't, I don't really like those kind of critiques on gameplay. Those feel like the rose-tinted glasses. Um, not taking consideration other factors types of analysis. Let me fucking hit him! Come okay, on, man! Good, good yeah. dodges. We're through. Poke that. I shouldn't He's have gone level two, dodges. but I wanted to make yeah, sure it lasted long enough. You need to be a good enough. doge. You need to stop being a bad doge. <laughs> well, that was some good doges for him. Alright, but we did get the missile down. That should be GG. There we go. Rock C down. GG cookie time. You never thought about that with the fire preventing repairs? Yeah, usually when we have a fire weapon, I'm swapping between weapons, but in this case, we're actually able to get them online, which is good. All right, that is um, 11 in a row, my friends. Not bad. Not bad. I am quite curious. I have a feeling our score is going to be not quite as low as I thought it was going to be because that Sector 7 and 8 was kind of ridiculous. But I have a feeling before Sector 7 and 8, our score is pretty low. So let me mark down Roxy is a win. And let's see what our score is. No, it's actually a pretty good score, 55-83. But let's see where that's... Where that is. <laughs> 505 scrap Sector 7 Civ. But that might be one of the highest single scrap sectors I've ever had. Wow. No wonder I felt so far behind earlier here. What was the free stuff we got? Uh, drones, crappy weapons, drones, the Flak Mark II we had to use for a while. A lot of free drones that run. Um, does this count Scrap Recovery Arm towards this red number? I don't know. Probably does, but what I will say is the score, this Scrap does not include Scrap Recovery Arm. I have had a 600 plus sector before. Okay, that was pretty insane, Sector 7. Scrap recovery arm is not included in this number. 1822. It's the same number here, so I'm going to guess scrap recovery arm actually isn't because it's not counted towards score. All right, well, that was, I will be honest, a pretty stressful run. It was almost a three hour run, so I got to take a break after that one. So you all feel free to grab a drink, grab a snack. I'm going to go use a restroom. You all enjoy chair or ad time. We come back, we'll random another ship. Hopefully, get 12 in a row. Honestly, it might be good to get Stealth B down if, uh, since we haven't done that one, but if I get it, I'll probably rage. So, y'all rock. Stay in a bit, my friends. <laughs>